We welcome you to Peoria, Illinois, the home of Bradley University. It's the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. UIC is in town to take on the Bradley Braves. Courtside with Kelly Burke. I'm Tom Ackerman. It is great to be back at Carver Arena. The Braves have won 13 straight here, Kelly, but coming off a tough loss against Belmont. The emphasis following that Belmont loss, making winning plays late and finishing at the rim. For UIC, they've won four of their last five games. They defended the three ball well in that win over Illinois State. That'll be a key factor today against a Bradley team that's top two in the league in three-point percentage. You know, UIC is a young team, but an experienced player, the big man Toby O'Connor, he can play. Our Toby O'Connor, a long athletic presence for the Flames. 13 plus points, leads the Flames on the board, seven plus rebounds per game. And he's really turned it on over the last four games at his best, penetrating off the bounce. And you look at what he did against Illinois State, a career high, seven blocks, such a good rim protector, 18 points. He's a huge factor in today's matchup. For Bradley, at foot, six foot nine for a rink mass, a matchup nightmare because of his ability to stretch the floor. Leads the Braves, 13 plus points, eight rebounds per game, masked elite footwork. He can finish with either hand and look for Bradley to find him a lot off the pick and roll. One of the best defensive teams in the country is Bradley. We'll see what UIC can do. It's Valley basketball from Carver Arena. What if I want to change my plan? Stay far here to help. What if I want to change sports? Newcomer Chris Paul is maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters, but here comes an opponent closing the gap, one foot in front of the other. They are battling it out, and Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I think the thing I love most about going back to St. Louis are the people. Every time I come back, there's something new. There's so much of the city that I have yet to explore. From Six Flags to the Science Center to the Louvre. Ted Drews. Hey, and what about the sports? Come on. You have to get to a Cardinals game. You have to get to a Blues game. I mean, you have to see the arch if you go to St. Louis. It is Instagram bait. St. Louis is home. It's my home. It's more than an attraction. It's a destination. Spend a day doing it all. Can we go for a ride? That's amazing. Hmm, so is this. It's all here at St. Louis Union Station. Plan your visit at stlewisunionstation.com. It begins here. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship hits the hardwood at Enterprise Center March 2nd through 5th in St. Louis. Don't miss any of the action as 12 Missouri Valley teams will compete for an automatic NCAA berth for the first time in Arch Madness history. To get your tickets for college basketball's premier conference tournament, visit archmadness.com now. The Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. For your personal price plan, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms, drink local with Prairie Farms. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. We are at Carver Arena, and we are ready to go for Valley Basketball. Good New Year's Eve crowd coming in. Happy New Year to everyone with Kelly Burke, Tom Ackerman. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, a production of ExploreStLouis.com. 
For you, I see the rebounding battle going to be critical. They have to contain the glass against a rally squad that leads the league in offensive rebounds at 10 per game. And penetrating kick, this UIC team takes a lot of threes, makes about eight per game. So it all starts off the bounce, opening things up. For the Braves, three-point defense, they gave up 11 threes to Belmont in the loss the other night. So have to run UIC off the line. And then that have to generate defensive points from offensive points rather from their defense. That is an ignition point for this Bradley squad. The Valley is making its way to St. Louis for Arch Madness 2023, March 2nd through the 5th. So start your planning today at ExploreStLouis.com. Teams get set to take the floor. Great looking uniforms today. Can I say that? Look at the flames. Here they are, starting lineups, the presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance Trust in tomorrow. Those are sharp looking uniforms. Anderson, Carter, Jones, Okani, and Schoball. And for Bradley, they are wearing the white uniforms with the script Bradley today, a little blue trim. I like it. Nice, Dean, nice it compliment to you, I see. Just the second time this season they've worn those unis. Looks good. Montgomery, he's talented. No doubt about it, Leones is all about talent and mass. The big man can get the job done. Good Bradley team taking on this UIC upstart program, I would say. Young, and we talked about that when we started. It's a team, though, that is off to a nice start. And they, you know, we visited with Luke Yaklich before the game, and he said it really meshed well. There's a care factor there with this UIC team. They have six of the 13 players on their roster are freshmen, but they put a lot of time in. They understand and want to win right away as they enter the Valley. Meanwhile, Bradley, incredible depth. And then they have so much upside because you think about, they've had so many injuries over the course of the non-conference season. This is really only the fifth or sixth game that this roster has been healthy and back together. Okani against Leones. We are getting underway in Peoria. Another big Valley game between these two as Bradley coming off the loss to Belmont with a little something to show here. Trying to show their fans and their coach an early travel by Dean. When turnovers that during some of the losses this year, those turnovers have been an issue. There is Luke Yaklich. Two games under 500 as the head coach of this program in his third season. He has plenty of experience on the sideline now as a head coach. Really has this team playing well. Great backdoor cut by O'Connor. Carter so talented taking it to the basket. Gets his own rebound and takes it away. Carter keeping the possession a lot. He's really running a lot bigger role this season for the Flames. Good toss inside and the basket on the layup by Schoble. Schoble making his second straight start. A nice cut to the basket. Easy bunny. Bradley plays such a physical style. And on offense, trying to take it right to the bucket, but they can make it from the outside too. Mast in trouble. They go outside and back inside in the drive and bucket by Hickman. Exactly what head coach Brian Lorda wants to see from Connor Hickman. This Bradley team so much better when he's aggressive off the bounce. Couple of baskets traded early between UIC and Bradley. Glad you're with us on New Year's Eve. Buckle in for this one. This will be a tough conference matchup for sure. Okani the kick out and Strobel misses iron on that one. Out of bounds to Bradley. Well, normally a really good three-point shooter, pick and pop guy. Brian Wardle, eighth season, just a touch under 500, but remember how he was growing and building the foundation early on. And as he built it, this team has an identity. They are one of the better defensive teams in the country. And with some Valley Tournament wins to their credit. They know how to win in March. Back to back Valley Tournament wins. 2019, 2020, hoping to get back there this year. Anderson trying to facilitate here as this Bradley defense is swarming and the block mass was there, diving for it, scramble, and Leones was there with it. 
Jump ball, possession arrow stays here. That's a great hustle play by Leon's getting on the floor. Loose ball is trying to cut off Scobo baseline. And loose ball and just dives to the floor, fighting out with Scobo for the loose ball. Little talk here is the inbound is tossed in by Carter. Anderson for UIC. Okani with a handoff runs in the way on stays Carter. Get used to that. They'll have to play through this physical Bradley team. Carter. High off the board and we're going back the other way. Nice job, Mast. One of the best rebounders in the Valley had the box out position, able to draw the easy foul. 2-2 in the early going, just about three minutes in. Mass, the junior from the Netherlands. Leones, the senior from the Netherlands. And the basket here by Montgomery from Louisville. Montgomery, you're gonna continue to see him heating up. Keep in mind, he missed six games with a broken wrist, and Coach Wardle was saying, I'm expecting some monster games from him here in the Valley season. Okani lost it for a moment. Back to Anderson. How do you penetrate this defense? That's what they'll try to solve. The scoop, and Mast is there. <laughs> Poking it away and momentarily losing it. Bradley, they get it back. Leons, yes. Leons so good off that pivot foot, very patient in the lane, creating with the angle. Malavar Leons, the 6'9 senior, leads this team in just about everything. Such a versatile player. Carter, yes. Carter does such a good job getting downhill, using his quickness. Had a great seal to work with, too. First bucket for Carter. Mast, one-on-one, -on -one and runs into a defender, and a foul is called. That's gonna go against Carter. Montgomery going to work between all kinds of blue jerseys for the finish. Such a nice job with his versatility. And it's Bradley out to the early two-point lead here at Carver Arena. Every sunrise offers new opportunities to dream big or to take that next small step. Every sunrise is another chance to build on the one before or to start with a clean slate because every sunrise is tomorrow's promise made real and Grinnell Mutual is tomorrow's promise protected. Trust in tomorrow and contact a Grinnell Mutual agent today. Cardinals 5, 6, and 10 game ticket packs are on sale now and feature 2023's highest demand games and promotional giveaways. Choose from the opening day pack, t-shirt pack, bobblehead pack, and more. New for 2023? Check out the swag pack. Cardinals ticket packs are the best way to secure your seats to the season's hottest tickets, including opening day, Yankees and Cubs weekends, plus more. Packs start at just $54 and are on sale now at cardinals.com slash packs. No two dreams are the same. But there is one van equipped to handle them all. 
For over 120 years, Mercedes-Benz vans have been built, upfitted, and ready to go. 6-4 Bradley in the early going at home against UIC, Missouri Valley Conference basketball. Let's take a look at the Valley standings as the 116th NBC men's basketball schedule makes its way to calendar year 2023 after today. Only undefeated team, Indiana State. Indiana State, the surprise team in the Valley right now with their hot start. But look at the log jam at two and one. And this is what's going to be so fun about the league race this year is that it's really wide open. Absolutely is a couple of one and two teams will be going in just a little while at two o'clock central northern Iowa at Illinois State. The only other game on the docket in Valley play here. It's Bradley with a two point lead against UIC in the early going. That one's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Bradley. Bradley, they've done a good job so far. They love to play through ranked mast. He really opens so much up inside when he steps out in the high elbow area. We see Deshaun Henry on the floor. Number 22, the explosive player for the Braves. And the shot clock runs out on Dean. Just a rare error by Dean not recognizing where the shot clock was that he needed to get that shot off or, or find a man inside. On the other side, Luke Yaklitz loves it. The stop for UIC, down by two. Dean swarming Christian Jones, the freshman. Jalen Jackson, and we're going back the other way. Foul called on Scoble. And that is the second on the Serbian forward, Philip Scoble. That's a, a big blow, too, because Scoble has that ability to step out, just like we see from Rink Mass, can shoot the three ball. He's one of their better three point shooters, can stretch the floor. The other foul is on Jace Carter. No fouls called on Bradley just yet. Henry. The toss to Mast. UIC sending the double. Three ball missed by Hickman. This is where UIC has to run in transition, catch this Bradley defense before they can get set. Such a strong Bradley defensive effort, night in, night out. They thrive off of it. He leads the lead in defense. That one grazes iron. Mast able to tap it to Dean. Mast was asking for the ball back. Dean to the block. Now they feed Mast to the big man and takes it in. Mast so skilled, sealing off his defender on the backside. And then he has the ability. He can finish with either hand on that hook shot. 8-4 game. Christian Jones with the ball out of East St. Louis, the 6'5 guard, guarded by the 5'8, Duke Dean. And the drive and bucket there. And Okani makes it a two-point game. Okani doing a really nice job exploiting his quickness against Mass. Dean slips through. Henry. Able to get it to go. Jackson was sliding with him defensively, but couldn't stop Deshaun Henry. Henry, such a critical six man off the bench for Bradley. Trying to get down the floor, and the foul is called. That one goes on Hickman. Rick Mass, absolutely elite footwork, and watch him carve out position, seal Cameron Fens on his backside. Just an easy shot. That's basically automatic when he goes to that hook shot, either hand. Look at. Dean finding him and then inside one on one mashup. He's going to win that battle every time. That'll make a coach smile right there. That is A plus footwork. UIC down four. Carter feeding and blocked inside after the miss by Anderson. 
And it's going to go Bradley's way. Boy, what a defensive effort there. Darius Hannah coming over. Cameron Finns had a tough angle under the basket. Comes over to break that up on the putback. And Bradley can throw 6'9, 6'9, 6'6, 6'8 at you. They have length and size. And that's exactly what Coach Wardle talked about. I asked him the comparisons between this defensive team and some of his championships. He said we had that length and versatility. There's Hannah, well moved. Darius Hannah. And Hannah really working that pivot for great patience in the lane. Bradley right now making a living in the paint. O'Connor, and it's going to go the other way. Foul on O'Connor, got him with the forearm. Darius Hanna continues to affect the game, both on the defensive and offensive ends of the floor. Going with his right hand, then how about the pivot foot catching Cameron Fenz, faking him out. Another one that will make a coach weep with joy. That is pretty basketball right there by Darius Hanna. Bradley, they have some options in their front court when they get in the paint. The Braves have doubled up the flames thus far. And missing it, perhaps because he was fouled on the way in and lost the handle momentarily, Hannah nearly took the house down, blocking foul call. A luxury though to have you bring mass right now on the bench and the Darius Hannah comes in and the production that he's been able to get this Bradley team already off the bench. 6'9 junior forward out of Milwaukee. We'll get a couple of free throws. Darius Hannah. Hannah gives you a different look too because he's a lefty in the paint. Stephen Clay comes into the game for UIC. As Jace Carter takes a seat before the media timeout. Hannah missed a pair, all alive. And Hannah called for the foul as Anderson got position on him. And the foul called on Darius Hannah. So far, so good for Bradley. Six of nine from the floor and holding UIC to three of 11. Bradley getting really high percentage looks so far. Haven't really even had to go to the three ball much. Losing it. That's Jackson. And on the other end, the layup missed, but brought home by Tabanainen on the weather's miss. Bradley in control early. 14-6 at the Peoria Civic Center. At Charmin, we're all about the signs of softness. So, we doubly tested our Charmin Ultra Soft to prove its value really stacks up. First up, the cushy soft test. Wow, softer than ever. Next, the absorbency test. See, it's two times more absorbent, so you can use less. So, Charmin Ultrasoft is always worth it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have one more test to conduct. We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? When I started my new kombucha business, I thought there would be a lot more kombucha and a lot less business. As a new small business owner, I've learned that trying to be the cool boss is a lot harder when you're actually the stressed boss. I know everything about my new furniture business. Well, everything except the whole business part. Not anymore. With QuickBooks, you can confidently manage your business. New business, no problem. Yeah. Success starts with Intuit QuickBooks. With my low energy, I can't even blow up this celebratory balloon. At Planet Fitness, there's hope. Now through January 12th, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, not for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel anytime. Deal ends Thursday, January 12th. Life's more fun when you join forces. Ready for an adventure? 
Hulu and Disney Plus. Better together in a brand new bundle. All for just $9.99 a month. Oh, we have five, Pat. <laughs> Save big when you bundle Hulu and Disney Plus. Tavares! Tatum, step back three. at GreatSouthernBank.com. Member FDIC. Bradley on an 8-2 run over the last four minutes to take a 14-6 lead on UIC. Today's Bird Watch presented by Great Southern Bank. Understanding what really matters. What do you have, Kelly? SIU Marcus Damask. He is playing at another level this year. Top 10 in the Valley in basically every category. Points, rebounds, assists, 50% from the field. Alibi lands. We've seen already what he can do in this game. He is a matchup nightmare because of his versatility. Can shoot the three ball 40% from distance, but can create off the dribble. And then Jace Carter has become the go-to option for UIC this year. Was really the fourth or fifth option last year, and he's moved into a prominent role in this Flames offense. Great Southern Bank and the Valley are proud to recognize the league's player of the year with the Larry Bird Trophy. Here, Bradley with a 14-6 lead. Saw Marcus Damask on Thursday. And Southern Illinois with an impressive win at Murray State on the road. It's fun that that rivalry is, is back now in the Valley between those two teams. SIU's won five straight. Hannah tries to throw it down again. and. This time, a foul is called on Hannah, and that's his second. He's going to have to come out of this game. Mast is coming back in. Let's take a look. A really nice job, Jaden Brownell, setting himself up outside the restricted air, camping out, and an easy offensive foul called there. Is Hannah a little bit out of control. The drive for Anderson, and Tabanaya got his hand in there, also fighting for it is Weathers, and it's out of bounds. It's going to be Bradley basketball. Boy, they're playing some feisty, tough defense on that end of the floor, and Bradley has held UIC to six points in the first nine minutes. All 14 of Bradley's points have been in the paint. And it's been balanced, too. It hasn't just been ranked mass. It's been a combination of players. That one knocked away out of bounds by Clay. Luke Yaklich getting his team settled back in. Trying to fight fire with fire. Strong defense on this end. Mass, he can make those. Frank Mass in and out. And into the hands of Okani. Connie will take it up the floor himself. Three missed by Anderson. It's a good look though, the penetrating kick. That's where UIC is at their best. Nothing doing for Montgomery. Anderson on the move for UIC, and that one is tapped away. It'll stay. UIC's direction. Good defense by Bradley because UIC had numbers there. So it would have been a three on two situation, able to break up that pass. Bradley just playing smothering defense right now. Flames trying to push in transition to capitalize before Bradley can get seven, the breakup. UIC's attempted six threes, missed them all. That one's taken away in the paint. Brownell, he brought that ball down, allowed Connor Hickman to get a hand on it. Hickman guarded by Anderson. Screen set, the feed to Mast. Floats it back out to Montgomery, and that's taken away. It's Christian Jones. Lost the handle, and it's going to stay right here off Bradley. Christian Jones, one of the stud freshmen for this UIC team, who is a starter, and he is lightning quick down the court. Snowball comes back into the game for UIC, playing with two fouls. He just can't afford to, to get offense. miss his presence inside. A 
Connie with Leona all over. Oh, great pass. Scoball and a foul is called. Scoball, that's the second time we've seen him back to a cut like that. And O'Connor doing a really nice job of finding him on the move. The you know, Leons can, can play defense too. You know, Connie, he, he loves to go to that baseline drive, and Leon has done a really nice job of cutting off that angle, then threading the pass between two white Bradley jerseys. Snowball converts. The Flames. Unable to cut it to six. It's a seven point game. Hickman can't get around Jones. Now does the dish, the basket. Max. What a find from Connor Hickman. Blowing by his defender and dumping off to Max for the easy bunny. Lead stretches to nine for Bradley. Snowball. Hickman with the board. Dean on the run. Big screen set by Massey. Rolls off it and scores. Oh, I mean, they are bringing it to this Flames team. Right? Well, they're taking advantage right now in transition to creating some matchup issues before this UIC defense can get set. I mean, Mass is snapping heads back with these screens that are being set. O'Connor goes into him. Short is Anderson on the three. Leons. And Scoball with the rebound. Leons, uh, the best three point shooter on this Bradley team. O'Connor. They just can't get him to fall from the outside. Now, 0 for 9 from 3 is UIC. Mass the handoff to Dean. Scoots his way into the lane. Tabanine. And Scoball with the rebound. Christian Jones will try. Still can't get it to fall. This is a UIC team. They average about eight threes made per game. Tries to sweep it under. Back up. Nothing there. Pass there. Rim protecting as well. Doing it all right now. Mast. And a whistle and a foul on the floor. Six and a half to go in the first half. This Bradley offense putting on a clinic led by number 51, who's finishing in all sorts of ways around the rim. Ranked mass, six points. Bradley up big. And what if I want a new car? State Farm's here to help. What if I want a new career? Keep bouncing it, keep bouncing it, keep bouncing it, keep bouncing it again, keep bouncing it again, keep bouncing really quick, keep bouncing it again, keep running and bounce it, keep bounce it, keep bounce it, keep bounce it again, keep bounce real quick. Feel free to jump in. Keep bounce it again, keep bounce it again. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It begins here with the new look version of Arch Madness in downtown St. Louis. 
stay with your team at its assigned hotel and experience the madness as 12 Missouri Valley Conference schools look to capture the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Conveniently located near attractions like the Gateway Arch, the City Museum, and Ballpark Village, side of the MVC Fan Hangout, team properties plus the tournament headquarters at Union Station and other Arch Madness hotels offer Valley Race to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC Championship Crown. rooms at these properties for Arch Madness or for your next trip to St. Louis by calling 1-800-916-0041 or visit ExploreStLouis.com. The growth literally year by year. I mean, from where the game is, from a straight basketball standpoint, 15 years ago or when I was a high school coach to what has happened now is unbelievable. It's awesome, it's powerful, um, and it's life-changing for those young ladies. Um, and so many different levels from a student, an athlete, a player, and a person. Um, you see the growth and the opportunities expand uh, exponentially. Number one defense in the league, putting it on UIC early. Bradley with a 21-7 lead in the first half. The Missouri Valley Conference is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the passage of Title IX legislation. Throughout the academic year, the Valley is honoring pioneers from league institutions who paved the way for current and future student athletes. To learn more about the conference's Title IX recognition plans, visit mvc-sports.com backslash Title IX 50. Bradley on a 13 to 1 run since the last bucket by UIC and that came at the 1350 mark. It's now 631 on the clock and the Flames trying to figure it out here down 21 7 count. For the Flames they just they can't get anything going inside because Bradley does such a good job defensively in the paint but then the three balls not falling either. Nast looking for Dean. Hands off to Tavanina, gets it back, and with the left hand, had it knocked away. Anderson for UIC. And they just can't get back fast enough. No, and, and Bradley's doing a good job getting back in their transition defense, not allowing UIC to score in transition. UIC 0 for 9 from 3. Anderson attacks. And now three for 20 from the floor. Anderson, I mean, how, how do you, you have Brink matched on here just a complete wall defensively? Mast. What a move inside. The Flames right now, they just don't have an answer for Brink Mast. That time it was Cameron Fenns unable to hang with Brink Mast. Mast, he's approaching a double double, and we're not even at the end of the first half. Eight points, eight rebounds. That one comes up short. Clay missed it. Dean takes it and lost it out of bounds. It's going to be Flames basketball. UIC down 23-7. This is where if you're UIC, you really need a Jace Carter and O'Connor to really put this team on their back and find some offense. Rim, Fens, that one will go for Cameron Fens, and a free throw coming. Fens doing a nice job battling it out for position. And head coach, you, Luke you can see him yelling from the sidelines, you have to attack to his team. And the freshman does just that, can't get the turnaround to fall, but look at Fens dropping in there for the putback. And Fens drops in the free throw, and UIC has cracked single digits. It's now 
Hickman, yes. Connor Hickman with the bucket. Hickman is such a quick first step, getting around that defense, explodes all the way to the basket. Sophomore out of Bloomington, Indiana. Bradley up Come 15. Come on, stop holding it. Come off of it. Yaprich goes inside the fence. This time, Hickman is there. Good help defense by Hickman coming over on the backside. Little pass outside to Montgomery, who buries it. Bradley, they've been able to find some offense in transition, having success there, beating USC at their own game. Fence, swarming defense by Bradley. On the floor, into the hands of Henry. Pop Weathers wants to attack. Weathers outside. The miss there by Montgomery. Clay. And a foul is called. Clay is going to shoot a pair of free throws. Well, Connor Hickman makes some things happen, Kelly Burke. Connor Hickman doing it with his offense, but also doing it with his assists as he's able to find in transition the trail three man Zeke Montgomery. 28 10 Bradley. Every sunrise offers new opportunities to dream big or to. It's a rug. Cut to your rug. On a rug. Some things leave you guessing. No two dreams are the same. But there is one van equipped to handle them all. For over 120 years, Mercedes-Benz vans have been built, upfitted, and ready to go. Because we believe dreams should never stay that way. to something big here. Just the two of us. Standing together is one. Ready for an adventure? Life's more fun when you join forces. Whoa! Team up. Band together. That's wicked. Wicked good. OMG! Hulu and Disney Plus. Better together in a brand new bundle. All for just $9.99 a month. Oh, we are fine, Pat. <laughs> Save big when you bundle Hulu and Disney Plus. Rub these little weenies, not with my low E. Millions are suffering from low energy, commonly called low E. Conga line around the family room, not with my low E. With my low E, I can't even blow this guy. Well, I live this way. Planet Fitness replaces low E with big E, which keeps you energized and glowing all day. Simply join through the... Bradley got 28 to 10 first half lead at the 338 mark over UIC. Stay tuned for our halftime report sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We'll hear from Jace Carter at halftime and Kelly and I will recap the first half with some stats and highlights for you. There is Jace Carter. The sophomore guard leads UIC in minutes per game, 15.6 points per game, averages about six rebounds a game. Does a lot of things for this Flames team, and they could use him right now. It has been all Bradley in the early going. Bradley's done a great job defensively, taking him away. Just two points so far on one of four shooting. And right now, the big two of UIC combining just four points overall and Connie and Carter normally average about 28 combined Stephen Clay fouled before the break makes one of two and Bradley working on this 17 point lead UIC shooting four for 23 and 0 for 10 from three Bradley in the meantime has knocked down a couple threes and there's the third one break matched Bradley, it's all starting off the dribble penetration, making that extra pass, and then the kick out, in that case, Mass for the open three. Braves by 20. Carter, the feed, Clay in trouble. Mast is there for Bradley. It's just a beehive every time they go down on that end of the floor. 
Double team. Hickman. Bradley rolling it home on New Year's Eve. And Braves are just clinical right now off the double team and finding the open man. That time it was Connor Hickman. Two and a half to go before halftime. UIC trying to finish on a strong note this half. Just in his way, Mass to able to knock Jackson's shot awry and comes up with it. It's like running into a brick. Left open, misses a three. Luke Yakovich had his hands on his head on that three-point attempt. Carter on the other end gets fouled. Good hustle down the court in transition. Bradley's done such a good job. Connor Hickman leading the way. The explosive guard play, able to get around the defender, and then the kick out to the wide open Pop Weathers. He penetrates and then is able to find Mast wide open for three. They can hurt you in a lot of ways. Luke Yaklich telling us before the game, one of the keys to beating Illinois State that last game was three-point defense. Something they were very proud of and knew they had to do today. But so many things you have to be concerned about against this Bradley team. It's a nightmare because all the guards of Bradley can get downhill and finish at the rim, but then they do a great job distributing the ball on the penetrating kicks. Really, Bradley looks good today. Not a lot of teams in the league are going to beat this team the way they're playing if they play like this. No, not at all. They're really in sync right now. Leon's. Leon's just a pretty touch around the basket when he gets into that paint. That time with the left hand. Talk about a guy who does it all. Malavai does just that. Okani. The extra pass to Carter. Nash grabs the board. UIC hustles back defensively. Leon's no. And the foul is called as Jones, a little push in the back of Henry. Henry doing a nice job of having the inside position on that box out. Christian Jones pushing off. They'll line up for the free throw for Jashawn Henry. Jashawn Henry, it feels like he's about 28 years old. <laughs> he's been at Bradley forever. <laughs> We've had some fun through the years calling Bradley games here and on the road with Henry and Mast. Two of the anchors for sure. Yeah, Henry part of that 19 and 20 back to back tournament winning teams. Tavaninen knocking down shots from the outside. This Bradley team's always had one common thread, and that is defense. Defense, length, and versatility. Brownell off the mark. Good offensive board inside, fighting for it, but not out of the hands of O'Connor. There's the physicality of this Bradley defense just taking it away. Mast hanging on to it. Shot clock under 10. Hickman to Leons. And that one knocked out of bounds by Carter. Shot clock at three. Deshaun Henry and the Bradley Braves. A timeout is called with 40.5 seconds on the clock. When the NBC TV network crew travels to campus, it considers these properties home. These hotels consistently support the conference and its 12 member institutions. Please call or visit the websites of these properties when making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. I'll tell you what's pretty great. 12 teams in the league. I mean, this is this is going to be a really interesting season. So many great teams. UIC, one of the new Bs in this league, coming over from the rise. And then you look at Murray State and Belmont and what they're already bringing to the Valley landscape. We're going to have some really good battles here in conference play. You've got 
four games on Thursday, four games on Friday, and then the semis on Saturday and the championship Sunday in St. Louis. It is going to be a lot of fun the first weekend of March. Lofting ahead and throwing it down is Henry. Oh, my. The sound Henry showing off his 44-inch vertical leap. Fans treated to a good one there. Off the rim by Jones. And Bradley's just going to scoot into the locker room up big here at halftime. You think Henry maybe lobbied for that play run for him in that timeout? Look at Pop Weathers. Stops and pops, and this one taken away by Jones. One second, lets it go. And Bradley goes in the locker room. What a dominant first half, a defensive clinic. 39-13 at the break in the Missouri Valley Conference. They toss it, and Henry goes and gets it. Bradley University putting on a show on New Year's Eve in Peoria. I just got my HelloFresh delivery for the week. I think I am going to make the saucy pork burrito bowl. So everything comes fresh and all the ingredients are pre-measured and it takes 30 minutes to make, sometimes less. I like ordering HelloFresh on weekdays where I know I'm gonna be busy and I just can't be bothered cooking. And there we have it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash yum21 for up to 21 free meals plus three free gifts. This time could be up there with the greatest of times. And it starts now. You gotta be kidding me! Did you think you could relax? That you'd seen everything there was to see? Or have you realized you can't look away and that the game has never been better? That is hockey. is brought to you by State Farm. For your personal price plan, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms, drink local with Prairie Farms. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. Our halftime report sponsored by State Farm Insurance, proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Visit statefarm.com or talk to your local agent to get your State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get a quote today. Courtside Carver Arena. Highlights in the first half made possible by Live by Low St. Louis. Want to experience laid-back luxury, the heart of downtown St. Louis, adjacent to Ballpark Village? Visit Lowe'sHotels.com slash St. Louis. Kelly, look at this. Bradley has been unstoppable in the paint. Ring mass, already a double-double at the half, 11 points, 10 rebounds. And the dribble penetration is causing all sorts of issues for UIC. And the Braves defensively forcing eight turnovers, six steals so far in this game. 13 points is all they've allowed in that first half. And the Bradley defenders have absolutely been swarming at the rim, completely cutting off gaps and driving lanes for UIC, making it so difficult. Hickman just taking it away. Well, I mean, if you're UIC, what do you do now? I mean, you just got to... You can't, you're not going to score 26 points all at once. No, and you're one for 18 
and the, your last 18 field goals. So you have to make it easier on yourself. You have to find ways, especially in transition, to try and get down the floor, create some offense, and, and turn some of your defensive possessions into offense if you're UIC. It starts with getting to the free throw line. Uh, that'd be a great way to start. UIC ice cold and Bradley putting on a defensive clinic. When we come back, we'll take a look at a halftime profile. We'll have stats. We are in our State Farm halftime report, and we're back to Bradley after this. No two dreams are the same. But there is one van equipped to handle them all. For over 120 years, Mercedes-Benz vans have been built, upfitted, and ready to go. Because we believe dreams should never stay that way. I think we're onto something big here. Just the two of us. Standing together as one. Ready for an adventure? Life's more fun when you join forces. Team up. Band together. That's wicked. Wicked good. OMG! Hulu and Disney Plus. Better together in a brand new bundle. All for just $9.99 a month. Oh, we are fine, Pat. <laughs> Save big when you bundle Hulu and Disney Plus. Your poach is sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Visit statefarm.com or talk to your local agent to get your State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get a quote today. It's time for today's profile, made possible by Arch Madness 2023. MVC correspondent A.J. Schraffenberger takes a look at Flames sophomore guard Jace Carter for UIC sophomore standout Jace Carter the road to UIC has always led through third year head coach Luke Yaklich I met coach Jack when I was 14 years old um, he came and watched me work out he was the first coach to ever watch me work out um, when he was at Michigan we had a 6 30 in the morning workout um, my high school coach and he came going into my senior year he hit me um, we already had a connection with him, I had a relationship with him, so we kind of went from there, and um, I really had a good connection with the assistant coaches that were there, and um, it just kind of skyrocketed. You know, I kind of really liked the idea of getting away from home and getting in Chicago. It's a new environment, and that's kind of why I'm here. That new environment has been very beneficial for both Carter and UIC, as the Florida native has impressed Coach Yaklich and his staff during his first season and a half. Anderson. Anderson, alley up to Jace Carter with the high elevation. Jace, Jace just has a, a confidence about him. When he's locked in um, and doing what he needs to do defensively, um, he just ignites uh, the rest of the team and everybody follows. He's a competitor, and he's learning how to lead while at the same time competing and then improving as a player uh, throughout the year. So I'm, I'm excited for him, really happy. That leadership has been key for the Young Flames this season. But Carter wants to change the narrative about this growing team. I hate saying it because I never want to use that excuse that we're a young team. You know, we got five or six freshmen that are playing heavy minutes. You know, I think every game is a, a stepping stone for us. And as, as our record has shown, you know, every game I feel like we're achieving little different things that we're learning from the last game. And, you know, we got kids that have never played college basketball before in their life and are going against grown men who six, five, five or six years in, the, in college. So I think just knowing that and just being – coachable and being able to learn and make mistakes and learn from your mistakes, I think that's allowed us to grow and, you know, we have, we've been having success so far. So as long as we keep doing that, we're okay. For the Valley on ESPN, I'm Amory Wilder. For the high elevation, right to the basket, 30-16, timeout Broncos. AJ, thank you. Today's profile made possible by the 2023 State Farm NBC Men's Basketball Tournament. Make plans to attend the inaugural 12-team event at Enterprise Center in St. Louis, March 2nd through the 5th. For more information, visit archmadness.com. We'll be back in Peoria right after this. Newcomer Chris Paul is maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters, but here comes an opponent closing the gap. One foot in front of the other, they are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead.
Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. No. You want him? Ooh, I like him. The quicker picker upper. When you gotta get it done, just one sheet is all you need. Because one sheet of bounty absorbs more than theirs, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Get the job done with one. Big at the half against UIC as we get set to start the second half momentarily. Halftime report sponsored by State Farm Insurance, proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Visit statefarm.com or talk to your local agent to get your State Farm personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Get a quote today. Let's take a look at our first half stats. Production of Union Station St. Louis, the home of attractions like the St. Louis Aquarium and the St. Louis Wheel. You can do it all at Union Station to see where it takes you visit st louis union station.com the, the number that immediately jumps out 0 for 12 from three for uic who normally makes eight threes per game and right now they can't get any offense going and credit a lot of that to this high pressure bradley defense it has been impressive to say the least 14 percent from the floor we're back for the second half right after this Where is she? Well, let me tell you. She's somewhere between an adventure and a dream. Where she can belong to, believe in, and vibe for days. Where the Mississippi runs east to west. Where quirky mashes with Heartland Modern. Where grit and grow are in the DNA. Where creative energy flows. Where good people and good ideas go a long way. Where there's always the unexpected. So, where is she? QC, that's where. Really, it's still a battle for equity. And I think that the hardest thing that we battle all the time is when we mention equity, people think that we're trying to become the men's game or we want to be the men's game. We are our own entity, we're our own group, we're our own game, and we just want to be celebrated in our own right. And for me, that's really the battle is us, people understanding women's basketball is awesome in its own right. It begins here with Hoops in the Heartland downtown Moline in the Quad Cities. Stay with your team at its assigned hotel as 12 Missouri Valley Conference schools look to capture the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. These properties offer valley rates to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC championship crown. Book rooms for Hoops in the Heartland at mvcquadcities.com or info on the Quad Cities, go to visitquadcities.com. The Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week is brought to you by State Farm. For your personal price plan, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. By farmer-owned Prairie Farms, drink local with Prairie Farms. And by Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. Well, if you're UIC, it's one possession at a time and try to find a way to make Bradley sweat a little bit. I mean, they're up 39-13 at the break, Kelly Burke. It has been very impressive defensively, but also offensively. Yeah, it's been an absolute clinic for Bradley on both sides of the ball. UIC, they're going to have to try and create some mismatches off the pick and roll in the second half to be able to get some higher percentage looks, especially since that three ball isn't falling. And this flame squad, they're, they have this one percent mantra if, you, if you've ever read the book atomic habits and so as you mentioned it's going to be just winning each individual possession to try and get back in this ball game we'll see what jace carter and the flames have in store for bradley in the second half carter with four points 
to lead his team. Leading scorer on Bradley is Rink Mast with 11. And he has a double-double already. 11 points and 10 rebounds. He's doing it on 5 and 9 shooting. It really was a spectacular 20 minutes for Bradley. Montgomery and Anderson play good defense, and that is tough to stop. The foul is called, and the basket goes down. And everything just going Bradley's way right now. Montgomery on the turnaround fadeaway and gets it to fall. Zeke Montgomery, he continues to get himself in a better and better offensive rhythm coming off that broken wrist injury earlier this non-conference season. So Montgomery to the strike. And extends the lead. Now 42-13. O'Connor. Tries to put an exclamation point early. The impressive thing about O'Connor is his ball. Yeah, he's got amazing athleticism, great handles on him. He's not a prototypical post player by any stretch. He can play anywhere on the floor and showed it right there with his range. Yeah, he finally got that shot to fall from the baseline. So many of those baseline drives have been cut off. He is a 6'8 guard who can make things happen, he, but he can be a forward. He can post up. He can do it all. What an impressive player. And he's really bought in, especially as a late to the system and what the Flames are trying to do offensively and defensively. Leon's missed it long. O'Connor able to tap it ahead. This is Jones, the freshman. Jones off the window to Mast. Bradley working quickly. Leon's Dean, Mast, three. And O'Connor. Grabs the board. Nice bucket right there by Anderson. Trey Anderson, nice decision. The pump fake, one dribble, goes right up at the mid range. Oh, what a find. Mass had it taken away. Jones knocked it out of his hand. It stays here with Bradley. Jackson comes in for Jones for UIC. And Bradley, they love to go to that pick and roll two man game with Dean and Mast. Flex, flex, yellow. They work it to Mast. It's a double. Go, go, go. Dean for three. Bradley on fire today. So well is that the double team comes. Bradley finds the open man, and so many three-point shooting threats on this squad. Duke Dean among them, 37% on the season, and he's been hot from three as a late. That one off the rim. Here comes Montgomery. Bradley, three on three. Hickman for three. Long and UIC is going to try to get a bucket on the other end, but they face with three Braves when they come back. Jackson the feed, Carter couldn't make the decision in the air and Mast to Leons and he loses the handle. It's going to stay here off UIC. Bradley all day, they've done such a good job passing on the double teams. Look at the way the, the Flames push Mast off the block, but then the ball movement around to Dean off the screen there and able to drain from three. They can make you pay in so many different ways on the floor. Good toss back inside, Carter. Jace Carter with the basket. And for Carter now with six points, his second field goal, he's two of six. Bradley is shooting 54% today. That goes up a tip with Montgomery. Montgomery showing off some guard post-up skills on the freshman. Get away from 
from him on the pass from Scoble. And he looks over at his teammate. He's trying to make something happen here in the second half and down by 30. It's tough sledding here at the 16 14 mark, but UIC's got to fight. Yeah, they've been more aggressive offensively in attacking the basket. It's going to be a long conference season. Got to build each and every possession as this one is stripped away and a foul is called. The Valley. Anderson. It could be so humbling coming off a big win over Illinois State, but the start here today, UIC looking to get back on track in the second half. Closing the gap, one foot in front of the other. They are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's more than an attraction, it's a destination. Spend a day doing it all. Can we go for a ride? It's all here at St. Louis Union Station. Plan your visit at stlouisunionstation.com. Tonight's Missouri Valley Conference legend is Bradley's Dick Versace, a native of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Versace was head men's basketball coach on the Hilltop for eight seasons, leading the Braves to two NCAA tournament appearances and an NIT title in 1982. Moving to the pro ranks, he was head coach of the Indiana Pacers for two seasons before serving as president of basketball operations and general manager of the Memphis Grizzlies from 1999 to 2005. People overlook the Midwest, but the Lou represents. St. Louis is happening. It's a great destination on its own. We got music. Forest Park. Sports. The history. The Magic House. We got food. Great food, great museums and attractions. I like roller coasters. You have to hit up the zoo. One of the top zoos in the country. St. Louis has it all from A to Z. St. Louis is cool. We're really funny and we're fun. The Missouri Valley Conference with Bradley leading UIC 47-19. You know the league is taking notice with Bradley putting on a clinic here this afternoon. Here's what's scary, Tom, is Bradley, as you see there, Frank Mass, uh, Missouri Valley Conference scholar-athlete. He has been terrific, and he's a junior forward from the Netherlands, averaging 13-8. But the big number, 3.64 cumulative GPA in physics, earning the 2022 All-Missouri Valley Conference and NABC All-District 16 honors. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. He not only scores, rebounds, passes, hits threes, he's great in the classroom. Yeah, he does it all, and he's gonna also get, get a boost uh, as far as adding more depth to this squad because Bradley is bringing in literally tonight a 7-1 center, 255 pounds. Hamet Jonovic is going to join this team. 19-year-old incoming freshman, and he's on a flight over from Europe right now. Like I said, take notice, Missouri Valley Conference, Bradley is here to stay. It's going to be a great year in this league. I could not tell you who's going to come out of Arch Madness. I couldn't tell you who's going to be the number one seed. There's no way. No, not at all. There's so much parity right now, game to game. Dean, that one rolls off the rim. It's Carter. Had a big basket before the break, see if he can build on that. Carter gets around Mast, gets over Dean, scores, foul. He'll go to the line. Carter in much more attack mode off the dribble this half. The good pump fake gets Mast to come out and draws him out to the perimeter here off the pump fake, going right around, goes up, knows the contact coming from Dean. One of the 
adjustments for Carter this year. It has been going from that fourth or fifth option to being the guy on this flame squad and at the top of every opposing scouting report. Well, completes the three-point play. It's 47-22. Nine points for Carter. This one is out of bounds. And UIC just trying to get hands in there, just make things happen. Royce, they've done a little bit better job in the second half of, of getting in gaps. Those active hands disrupting the pick and roll. Outscoring Bradley 9-8 in this half. Mast to Hickman. Mast with it. Shot clock at three. Is it another stop? No. Mast says no. And, and Mast is taking full advantage of the mismatch. She has Trey Anderson on him. About a seven-inch size differential. Hickman. There to stop O'Connor, and Mast pulls down another board. That's a dozen. Tabanainen. And another possession for Bradley. Hickman held up in the lane, tried to bounce it to Weathers. Good job, you guys see breaking up the backdoor cut. That won't go, Hickman the other way. Once again, it's Mast putting up the wall in transition. Henry, yes. Henry, physical player, loves to attack in the paint, doing a nice job. Just getting inside Saragba, the, the freshman. The Sati Saragba got him, Jashan Henry. Good continuation gets underneath him, able to seal him on the backside. Chance of the three point play. Henry now with seven. Can't convert. You know, all of this said, UIC, as this one staggered away by Montgomery and out of bounds, is young. And, Super young. And you hate to say it, but you got to take your lumps. And this is a big one, but you, know, you learn from experiences like this. Well, and if, if history is any indication, UIC, they had a really bad loss to Northwestern earlier this season. Northwestern, the, the top defense in the country. so. Bradley, 39th nationally defensively. This is an, another loss that, that essentially that you're going to learn a lot from. Shot clock at three. The feed to Okani came up short. Okani double team. That one's blocked. Out of bounds. Bradley ball. This is a tough sequence there for Toby Okani. Oh, and Okani, he's got all sorts of rim protectors around him, too. Bradley's squad, so skilled around the rim at, at denying even on putbacks. You know, Yaklic telling us before the game that, for example, Christian Jones right there guarding Tavanina. Great energy, lights up a locker room. And these are the kind of things that you want, that you learn from your players early on, how quickly they get it, what you're trying to do. Carter, nice recovery and layup from Jace Carter. And to your point even about the, I mean, you forget Jace Carter, he's just a sophomore. Just his second year in this program. But Christian Jones, Coach Yako saying, you know, he's one of those players who he cares too much sometimes. That's how locked in he is. Whistle and a timeout. Bradley, Brian Wardle gets Leon's back into the game. Hickman's going to come in. They'll have a wholesale change when we come back. It's Bradley by 27. Cardinals.
Back to work? Back to work? We've all got work worries. They're annoying little things that never leave us alone. Even at work. But you can get them under control. Asana makes work easier for your team, so you can focus on all the things that matter instead of just worrying about work. Make work work for you with Asana. Obsession can make an impression. How many seasons? Hulu. No two dreams are the same. But there is one van equipped to handle them all. For over 120 years, Mercedes-Benz vans have been built, upfitted, and ready to go. Because we believe dreams should never stay that way. With my low energy, I can't even blow up this celebratory balloon. At Planet Fitness, there's hope. Now through January 12th, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, not for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel anytime. Deal ends Thursday, January 12th. with 12.20 to go. The Missouri Valley Conference. Today's scores, presentation of Grinnell Mutual Insurance, trust in tomorrow. Illinois State, Northern Iowa in the early going. Couple of one and two teams in the league. You see New Year's Day filled with some games. Drake at Missouri State's a nice one. Yeah. Belmont at I'm the Saluki. Really just to see that one. Offense versus defense of the Salukis. Mm. Here it has been Bradley's show. And the mask show as well. He takes it to the rack, but no. Look at the it's pursuit of mask. I mean, on the offensive glass. Montgomery going baseline, put an elbow into the defender, and Jace Carter drew the charge. Nice job by Carter. Off the baseline drive, drawing the foul. Every sunrise offers new opportunities to dream big or to take that next small step. Every sunrise is another chance to build on the one before, or to start with a clean slate. Because every sunrise is tomorrow's promise made real. And Grinnell Mutual is tomorrow's promise protected. Trust in tomorrow and contact a Grinnell Mutual agent today. It begins here with the new look version of Arch Madness in downtown St. Louis. Stay with your team at its assigned hotel and experience the madness as 12 Missouri Valley Conference schools look to capture the league's automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament. Conveniently located near attractions like the Gateway Arch, the City Museum, and Ballpark Village, side of the MVC Fan Hangout, team properties plus the tournament headquarters at Union Station and other Arch Madness hotels offer Valley Race to fans wishing to follow their schools all the way to the MVC Championship Crown. rooms at these properties for Arch Madness or for your next trip to St. Louis by calling 1-800-916-0041 or visit ExploreStLouis.com. 
The most powerful ideas come from understanding. By asking what's important here at Great Southern Bank, we start by asking our customers to find out how we're doing and what they really need. Then we get to work, making banking easier and more effective, financing more flexible, and our communities better places to live. It's an ongoing team effort to keep improving how we serve our neighbors day after day. And it all starts with understanding what really matters. Learn more at GreatSouthernBank.com. Member FDIC. Bradley leads UIC 51-24 at the 12-minute mark of this ball game. Register to win an Arch Madness VIP package, including all session tickets for the State Farm NBC Men's Basketball Tournament, hotel accommodations, tickets to St. Louis area attractions as well. Log on to explorestlouis.com slash NBC contest for complete details. I tell you, Arch Madness is going to be special this year with 12 institutions in the house and their fan bases. I, I went to one on Thursday, Murray State. I'll tell you right now, they will well, be. The fan bring base them. they're going to bring? They will bring them. They told me. Watch out. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> so that's a challenge to everybody else. I think it'll be great. I think. Oh, the, These 12 schools bring fans. It's a blast seeing all the colors and the, yeah. the different representation from all of the 12 teams. And the passion. Arch Madness. It is going to be fun. It's March 2nd through the 5th. And the only place to celebrate before and after all the action at Enterprise Center. Kelly Burke will be there. The NBC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village. For all you need to know about the Fan Hangout, download the Arch Madness app today. Let me tell you, the Fan Hangout, it's a good time, too. It is a good time, for sure. St. Louis does it, the Valley just does it right. They treat the conference tournament like a Final Four. A double team by UIC. And that's Dean. And the foul is called on Carter. The health defense has certainly been much better in the second half for the Flames. Leon's face is up, goes right at Carter. And Mast able to get it back to him, gets a man in the air, misses that one. What an effort by Carter to come up with that ball. Carter has, has turned up the defensive intensity in this second half. Jones like that. Christian Jones off the glass for UIC. Dean buries it. Dean is just really fitting seamlessly into this Bradley offense this year, coming over from the Sun Belt, the Sun Belt freshman of the year, transfer from Troy. The 5'8 junior out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Coach Wardle just saying he's a point guard. He plays with that chip on his shoulder. Great attitude, great leader. He is a lot of fun to watch, that's for sure. That was his third foul. Dean commits it. Carter fights through. Inside, the turnaround with the left hand by Saragba. Saragba, another one of the freshmen for UIC that's seeing playing time this season. Yeah, I keep an eye on UIC, these young players, as they develop a nucleus. When you look at three freshmen, four underclassmen on the floor right now. Mast. And we're going the other way. See, how about the freshman Vasanti Saragba going up inside against Mass? Seeing some extended playing time in the second half. Saragba from Marseille, France. Missed from the other end. UIC has not gotten a three to drop today. Yeah, oh. 0 for 13. Season low, two three-pointers against Loyola. And a 
whistle and a foul as Leons drove the baseline and Jace Carter got him. That is his fourth. Download the Arch Madness app presented by Great Southern Bank. Understanding what really matters. The app has all the information you need to know about the tournament schedule, hotel accommodations, and all other fun events during the tournament. Download the app on your Android or iOS device today. That's the way to go right Chase. there. You get the app. You don't have to now search dialed, around for it. dialed in. It's all right there. Foul call. And they start to pile up now. Stephen Clay is whistled for the foul there. And that is team foul number seven this half for UIC. Rink Mash is putting on a clinic on the glass right now. Career high 16 rebounds. 13 points, 16 rebounds for Rink Mast. Your rebound, Phil. Top and Einan delivers at the free throw line. Mast is one of five from three. Feels like he has more than that, but just the presence of Rink Mast everywhere today. Bradley's five of 19 from three, but shooting 51% from the floor. They haven't needed a three ball to fall at all. They've been so efficient in the paint and off the dribble. Some extended pressure from the Braves. Braves by 25. Might as well use the second half to get in some defensive work. Jones from that same spot misses off the glass, but Okani is there. Great athleticism by Okani on the putback. No Bradley player around midair. Got to get those small victories one after the other. Let's get this thing under 20. Come out of here feeling good. Henry. And he's fouled. And if you're Bradley, you do want to finish strong. I mean, you're up by 30 at one point. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and such great depth, some extended minutes for your other players. For Sean Henry doing a nice job facing up and attacking the freshman. Henry, who jumped out of the building earlier on an alley oop, knocks down the free throw. Henry now with eight points. He's perfect from the floor. Henry, three for three. I mean, he's really built like a college football player. Strongest player on this Bradley team. Gets them both. Bradley six of ten from the strike today. UIC eight of ten from the free throw line. Down by 25 again. Connie with the drive, Mast just in his way. Tom Heinen gets around the defender. Oh, my. That was pretty. Tom Heinen showing off a little shake and bang. Jones Weather stays with him, but. Christian Jones with the basket. I've been really impressed with Christian Jones in this second half. Really made the adjustment to this Bradley defense. Not, you know, playing with a lot of fearlessness right now. Freshman out of East St. Louis. Tom and I am on the other end. Berries from long range. Eli Tom and I am. Absolute sniper from three. Trying to answer on the other end is Clay. And now that's 0 for 14 from three for UIC. Mass comes up short. Bradley always back defensively, it seems, every yeah, single time. It was really emphasized today in their walkthrough, that transition defense, especially against this UIC team that they, they want to play fast. But right now, everything, again, working for Bradley. They haven't needed the three ball much in this game, but getting great bench production from Ville Thomas. Business. As a new small business owner, I've learned that trying to be the cool boss is a lot harder when you're actually the stressed boss. 
I know everything about my new furniture business. Well, everything except the whole business part. Not anymore. With QuickBooks, you can confidently manage your business. New business, no problem. Yeah. Success starts with Intuit QuickBooks. Family. Check. Familiar faces. Jay. Check. Drama. What did you expect? Come on. Let's go. Back in Peoria, he stands 6'9", 240. He is Rink Mast. And Rink Mast playing like he's about 7'5 today, finishing in the paint, 13 points, 16 rebounds, just swallowing up on the glass, offensive and defensive boards. And oh yeah, he can step out and hit the three ball too. And his head coach, Brian Royal says, Rink Mast, the most underrated part of his game, his defense. He is a force, an immovable force at that. 13 and 16. And taking a breather. A, a well deserved breather. Bradley up 62 34, seven and a half to go here in Peoria. The Braves working on a 13 game home winning streak, dating back to January 5th of 22. So covering this entire year as Henry goes up. And a foul is called on Christian Jones. The ball movement is just a thing of beauty right now for Bradley making the extra pass. They just swing that ball around so quickly on the touch passes. Braves 7 and 0 at home this season. The only other team perfect at home this season in the league is Drake at 6 and 0. Bradley, they, they haven't lost here at Carver Arena since last January. As Henry delivers on the free throw. That was a tight two point loss to Missouri State that day. 71 69. One of the things when you talk to Brian Wordle and his staff about this team and what makes it special is just he talks about the connectedness of this group and the selflessness and just Sean Henry is the ultimate example of that. Just embracing his six role man off the bench. Jones gets it to Okani as they whip it around the perimeter for Carter. Bring a one on one opportunity with Talvin Iman. Now Anderson for three, and that won't go. That, that was all set up though, because Pop Weathers came over on that help defense on Jace. Henry underneath scores on Jones. Henry's had a really nice second half. The lead swells to 32 for Bradley. Still unable to cash in from the outside. Snowball. Great athleticism just hanging in the air, finishing with the left hand off the pick and roll. Braves and their fans going out in 22 with a bang. Jones, yes, on Henry. Jones has got some really great handles and shiftiness. He's fired up too, pumping his fists. Darius Hanna's become a really nice option for Bradley off the bench today. And they've called a technical foul on Jones. Hanna there with the finish off the feed from Connor Hickman. 
Jones must have gotten a little bit was, overzealous on the bucket. He was fired up again, an emotional player. Well, that's a teachable moment. We just saw Coach Yaklich over there, just, you know, kind of having some words with this freshman. Top of nine, meanwhile, calmly knocks down the Tex. You can just see how mad he is with himself. Christian Jones, though, he's going to be an integral part of this UIC program going forward. Just getting some really valuable experience this year as a freshman. You know, it's either a tough ride back to Chicago or we say we're going to get up. It's going to be New Year's Day. New Year. And we're going to go to practice and we're going to get ready for the next game. And we'll throw this game directly in the trash. Oh, exactly. One of those throwaway games. But you, you have to look at what they did, you know, Northwestern. That was a, a beating, a brutal game for UIC and had a great bounce back effort against Illinois State. Hard foul right there as Montgomery went in for what looked like a dunk attempt and got taken down by Strobel. It looks like he's okay. He'll get to the line and fire up a couple of free throws. Just one of those where you hold your breath a little just because Montgomery, he had that broken wrist earlier this season. Next NBC TV Network production will be Saturday, January 7th. Indiana State 3-0 so far in league play will host this UIC team. Our coverage begins at 1 p.m. Central. It should be a fun match because both those teams love to play fast. It'll be a track meet. That is true. Bradley, they just like to shut you down, especially in the half court. Leons, Montgomery. Dean could not pull it. Mast hands off to Montgomery double team. Tavaninen open for a moment. Now Dean is. Friendly roll from Conquer and Bradley continues off that double team to find the open man. Whistle inside, Mast moving with Carter and got called for the foul. Rick Mast filling up the stat sheet though with 13 points, 16 rebounds. A force to be reckoned with in Valley play. There are some good big men in this league. There aren't many better or as good as him. No, I mean, he, you know, he's right there in the conversation for player of the year. No question. Long three for Dean, yes. Connie with a little hesitation and too much. That called for the travel. Four minutes to go. Carver Arena, fans having a good time here. A lot of kids in the crowd today. A little nice turnout today for New Year's Eve. We're gonna have a little New Year's Eve countdown outside in the concourse for the kids in the Civic Center after this game. Isn't that cool? That'll be fun. Mast with the putback won't go. They're going to do that about 3 o'clock Central Time. They're going to gather all the kids and let them do their own. Yeah, that's great. Because we know they're all going to be asleep. Oh, right? <laughs> well, of course, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Mike. Yeah. <laughs> they insist on staying up. Barry Anderson hits the three. Is it the first one in the game? It is indeed one for 17 from beyond the arc for UIC. 77 39. The Bradley crowd appreciative. It has been some effort for Duke Dean and his teammates.
no two dreams are the same. But there is one van equipped to handle them all. For over 120 years, Mercedes-Benz vans have been built, upfitted, and ready to go. Because we believe dreams should never stay that way. Meet the newest power couple, Hulu. Blue Island, Illinois, Granderson played baseball for the Flames and was selected by the Detroit Tigers in the 2002 MLB Draft. A three-time All-Star and Silver Slugger Award recipient, he played 16 Major League seasons and reached the World Series three times. Bradley up big. The play of the game brought to you by Great Southern Bank. Understanding what really matters. Jashan Henry takes flight. Off the inbounds to close the first half with an exclamation point. And Jashan Henry, he's been all sorts of offense here, especially in the second half. I wonder what the game looks like from up there. Never got to experience anything like that. I mean, that is He's got the ultimate vertical jump, 44 inches. Bradley in control. UIC battling in the final three minutes. Launched and Hannah's there. Fans have gotten their money's worth for sure. Would have been another highlight for the Braves as Okani misses and rebound pulled down by Christian Davis. As Brian Wardle giving some players an opportunity. Davis, the sophomore out of Denver. Davis. This is on that shot with a hand in his face. Bradley with five players in double figures. And prior to this timeout, only Pop Weathers had been kept off the score sheet among the players that saw action as a tie up underneath the basket. And Bradley also had a chance to have a new season low for points allowed, potentially. They're giving up 59 a game. Number one in the league, Carter. Spins around and fouled. Foul called there on Connor Linky, the junior out of St. Charles, Illinois. Carter's done a much better job in the second half of finding some traction in the lane. Kane Hartke about to check into the game along with Sam Hennessy getting a nice round of applause. The two Illinois products, Hartke's from Lombard, Illinois, number 12. And that's Hennessy from Naperville, Illinois, number 13, wearing the face mask. Carter short on the free throw, but it comes back to Jackson. Carter all the way in and scores. Carter's had a much better second half, able to get his offense going a little bit. Davis, and that one was saved by Ballou. Thank you. You know what the crowd wants. They want some of these players to get a chance to score a bucket. And 
Carter says I'll score right there. Take that. 79-43. Bradley with a minute to go. Linky lost the handle, but a foul was called. Gonna be on Jalen Jackson, the freshman. She got on the floor for Bradley, going to Baloo. The junior out of Denison, Iowa. Wearing number 25 near the top of your screen. We mentioned Christian Davis, the sophomore from Denver. At the line here, Linky. He's a junior. And then the pair of guards out there, Hartke and Hennessy. Linky held off the score sheet there. Carter. Can't, can't quite finish, but continues to attack the rim. Bradley's going to go to three and one in league play, ten and five overall. This Bradley team, they're just so tough because not only of the stellar defense they play, but this is such a deep squad. So many options offensively to go to. That one knocked away, unable to convert his hard key, and this one out of bounds, slapped away, but a foul first. Carter, I've been impressed with his defense in the second half. It seems like he's always around the basket, disrupting drives, getting his hand on it. Yeah, he's really shown me something in this game. He's a good player. Carter has 15 points. Carter, a player that Coach Yaklich, he actually recruited him when, when he was an assistant at Michigan, and they just maintained that relationship. And then when he went to UIC, just made sense for Carter to come to UIC. Bradley will next be on the road at Murray State. We'll see what the racers have in store for them after a loss at home to Southern Illinois. They had won 20 in a row at home. You know, they don't want to lose another one. Got to protect the home floor in this league. Absolutely. That's UIC will be back home against Belmont on the fourth. Fans love it here. An ovation for the Bradley Braves. As Pop Weathers will dribble out the clock. And Bradley wins its third game in league play, matching Indiana State with three wins in the Missouri Valley Conference, Kelly. And Bradley just clinical today on the defensive end, holding USC 13 first half points. And then they were able to be so balanced on the offensive end, off the dribble penetration. A great Max leading the way. And this is a very dangerous Braves team. And what a bounce back after after that tough Belmont loss. Moving very down. impressive. 79-45 win over UIC. Players of the game, a presentation of State Farm, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What do you see here in these two? Uh, how, how could we not go with Rank Mass? The double double. He had a double double in the first half of this game and a career high 17 rebounds. And then Jace Carter, just a nice job. Really struggled in that first half, but was able to find some offense in the second half. Was effective on the defensive end. Six of 14 from the field, 17 points, seven rebounds. And he's only a sophomore. He's going to be a really, really nice player for UIC. No doubt about it, that is an impressive performance by Rink Mast. You know he's good. That today was as good as I've seen him. UIC on the other side, a learning experience. They'll be back. We'll be back on Saturday, January 7th, when Indiana State takes on UIC at Terre Haute. One o'clock tip off there. You, Luke Yaklich will bring his team into Terre Haute. He came in to face Brian Wardle's Braves, and they got him good. Thank you, and Happy New Year from Peoria. And what if I want to change my plan? Stay Farm's here to help. What if I want to change sports? Newcomer Chris Paul is maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters, but here comes an opponent closing the gap.
one foot in front of the other, they are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips of a champion. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Gatorade.